Hi, I'm Will Abale from Will Abale Art Projects, or WAP for short, a contemporary art gallery in Vancouver, Canada. This video takes a look at Jeremy Lang's exhibition at WAP, which opened March 7, 2020, using pictures of the exhibition, as well as excerpts of writing by Jeremy and Toronto-based writer David Balzer's texts accompanying the show. Jeremy Lang is a multidisciplinary artist making work and community in Toronto, and this is his first solo exhibition with the gallery and in Vancouver. The artist's varied output ranges from installations to costume performance, video, apparel, queer parties, carpets, ceramics, and this recent body of sculptural work synthesizing found and crafted elements in textile and clay. His artistic practice demonstrates a kind of hands-on material exploration that is in a sense diaristic, but also an index of the choices of others, as told by their found and repurposed, scavenged, or donated materials. Seeking another way of approaching textiles after a significant period focused on making clothes, Jeremy turned to a tufting gun, a mechanical yarn drawing tool used in commercial carpet manufacturing. The resulting artworks, six of which are on display in the show, are extemporaneous sculptural yarn paintings made with found scrap yarns. Material explorations created in one go, Jeremy calls them single sitting samplers and he makes them as much to be touched as to be looked at. Part of what I find so striking about these works, apart from the variety of broad central textures that can be appraised from looking at them, are the color decisions. But whose decisions? The yarns that find their way into Lang's studio and into these pictures, much of them from Value Village, were somewhat randomly arrived at, and yet reflect a legacy of choices and implications in their manufacture, with nothing left to chance. The decisions that went into the making of these panels and Lang's respective judgments about them have been consciously put through a process that deprioritizes a reliance on his personal taste, which he doesn't consider his at all, quote, but a residue of the privilege of others, end quote, in a reference to critic Dave Hickey. Instead, he appreciates the material has been chosen by somebody else, valued in ways that predate his experience with them, and that they arrive to him as discarded ends from projects others have long passed on or abandoned. In his other sculptural works, like this one, titled Swat Pot for Three 2020, Upholstery piping core courses through the lines of the sculpture like the thread of a cocoon. With the allusion to threesomes, the found fly swatters suddenly take on an element of kink. And in fact, there's something queer about all of this work. Soft parts go through and over hard parts. Uses are subverted. Scale is warped. Values appended. This sculpture, entitled Aggressive Chewers Premium, as listed 2019, which features complicated bondage-like knots that are in fact dog toys deployed as ready-mates, takes on bodily characteristics. Many of the sculptures in the show have handmade glazed stoneware elements that anchor delicately the pieces in place. This pair of works, in which I also see figures, are each titled Captive Vessel and prominently feature pots grounded to the floor threaded through with found textile components. Some of the ceramics resemble large buttons, as in these accessorized single sitting samplers, which serve the partial purpose of reminding us what buttons actually do, which is to hold things together, in addition to decorating a thing. What continues to baffle me about these panels is that they are not themselves hooked onto the wall with nails. It is simply the tension of the hanging rope and the weight of the button that causes the panel to be wedged in place with enough force as to remain upright. Here, gravity is a collaborator and all the mechanics are on display. There are no silent players. 
Newest in Jeremy's artistic consideration involves his repurposing of commercial samples. A fabric swatch peeks out from behind this draped panel titled Baby's First Mood Bod, My Poetry Dealer 2019, like a small appendage of additional options. In another work, New Nails Festoon with Thanks to Diana 2020, Swizzle stick like fake nails, all uniquely hand painted by his oft collaborator at queer parties, Diana Vandermeulen, are fanned out in a spectrum of colors and patterns. It is a social sculpture. In fact, many of the titles of the works in the show, the artist's social connections are listed as acknowledgement for the material contributions towards the sculpture. For instance, Serge, a metalsmith, bent the steel rods to create the hands that form the base for this work, TBD, their bobbled digits with thanks to Serge, 2020. In yet another sculpture, synthetic hair of various shades and hues from Global Best Beauty are bundled in mini ponytails and an oversized keychain and presented for scrutiny on a delicate ceramic hanging device. Altogether, these samples seem to imply choice, a plethora of options, but in actuality reflect a finite range of permissible variation as defined by commercial imperatives. No choice at all. For more information on Jeremy and his work, please reach out. You can also follow the gallery on Instagram and Facebook at WAAP Art and on our website www.wapart.com for further information.